Hey, I'm going to give you four examples of how to set a project up so that you can get behind it with joy and energy and maximum believing that this can happen and it can shift for you. And this is really a follow-up to the Law of Attraction program that I just did last night. But I thought I'd offer it to everybody here on Facebook Live. So, uh, four examples. First one, uh, let's say you're frustrated by something your partner does and you are aware of it and it grates on you and it bothers you and you want to uh, clear that. Uh, if your clearing is about moving away from what's wrong or fixing what's wrong or or doing things to try to get them to change it, that's all gonna be heavy, that's gonna feel bad, that's gonna make you a match, not for things going better, but for things continuing to be hard. And if you got behind a project, um, like something that the two of you could do together, or, um, or maybe if what's happening now is not a lot of togetherness, if you cultivated uh, being doing things on your own and taking care of yourself as a great project to do you know something that would be good to learn and do whether you're single or with someone that you could really get behind that you could start feeling good about that could have components you've been wanting to experiment with sorry about the noises this is like a, a whole texting chain that's coming in now while I'm doing this so mobile phones um, that that goes better, that feels better. And then when you come back and hang out with your partner, you'll be in a better space. You won't be looking to them to, to fix something for you or looking to them to be something different so that you can feel good because you have, not, have taken on the job of making yourself better, but you're also putting your energy where it actually feels better. And that can come over to the relationship and that can call forth better stuff in the relationship. Let's do one about food. So if you want to give up a food or a way of eating, that can feel hard. It feels like scarcity and deprivation. It's like, okay, like I know sugar is bad for me, but I crave it and I like it and I want it and I'm probably addicted to it. Um, or potato chips or whatever. But if you get excited about a way of eating, that can bring good energy to the project. Even if you don't, especially maybe, if you don't right away require yourself to somehow give up the offending food. Food. You could simply, you could get excited about um, intermittent fasting or um, eating only fruit in the morning or having green smoothies or you could get excited about anti-inflammatory diet. You could play with um, uh, maybe even cooking gourmet vegan food. You know, there's any number of ways that you could make it a project that you're into that feels good, that feels like you're moving towards something, not away from something. And you know, I find that when people are feeling good about something that to them feels healthier, that actually supports them to stop. Like, I'm not gonna eat five candy bars if I am feeling already different and better with this green smoothie habit and I actually like the taste of them and I make them uh, good and, I, and I'm present when I make them and I have a little ritual around it. Okay, let's do a, um, a health thing. Uh, oh, I just recently, uh, so I've been doing Qigong for years but I do this really wimpy simple Qigong and it's, it's been great and it makes me happy and it feels good and I like it better than yoga. And recently I had some health stuff come up and I noticed that sometimes I was holding it or it was like edging around my field in a way that felt bad, that felt kind of heavy, that felt like, mm, I don't know what to do about this. So the focus was on, on that. And um, I signed up for and got really excited about it and feel so good about it. Like it just hums to me in every cell of my being this advanced uh, Qigong course. So I'm taking that to the new level. It's a project. It's going to require my focus, but focus doing something that I think is beautiful and cool and that feels good to my body and that increases my breath. And then like already, like this, this is new, uh, already I'm just feeling like hopeful about just, I feel 
better about my health. I feel more in charge about it. I feel like I'm addressing organs and, and uh, improving my immune system. And I always care about things that support me to breathe better. I think the breath is more important than we know. So, so that has changed my relationship with the thing that's supposedly going wrong in my body. So one more money. Uh, I'll, do, I'll give another personal example. When, um, when I was working on clearing some debt and I realized that I couldn't think of it as clearing debt because that felt bad to me and it felt like it felt heavy, like this big wall of debt that I had to pierce away or chip through or whatever. Um, and so I um, found an affirmation that really worked for me that was because I'd been I'd been doing some clearing in my house and I loved the feeling of moving out stuff that didn't feel good anymore making things more spare and clean and clear and so I created an affirmation that it was about clearing out old financial fixtures and really inhabiting my new more spacious free relationship with money and that felt real like that wasn't too far of a stretch and I and I just had in my body the knowing about the um, about the, the physical clearing so the metaphor really worked for me and then uh, when money came in I would uh, I would pay stuff toward debts and I and I could do it feeling good I could do it not feeling deprived I, I wasn't even thinking about other things I could buy or things I would like or things I need it was just like I was I was experiencing that greater freedom uh, and spaciousness of having that debt cleared away okay so that's it this is a law of attraction principle the good kind of law of attraction that's no bullshit you you if the focus is on something that feels good that has energy for you that you can get behind don't say that's working only if you then clean up every aspect or you drop the part you don't like let that just be the beginning. Let that be the thing that you get a foothold in that, uh, that then builds momentum and that takes you further. Uh, momentum is real. So you can either build it in the direction of constantly reinforcing what feels bad and holding your focus there, or you can build it toward what feels better. So I invite you to it.